Hello, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin' with Craig and it's D. Buzz here next to this impressive vid. It's titled Amber Rose Shades Beyonce's Speech at Kamala's Rally and Solange is Chronically Ill. Very sad. What? Oh my god, I have not heard about this. What's, what's up with her? Let's see what's happening. Let's watch. Chronically Ill since when? Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Impressive Channel. I want to talk about Beyonce and Kelly Rowland showing up to support the presidential nominee Kamala Harris at her rally. And I also want to get into Amber Rose throwing a little shade at Beyonce. But before I do, I and like y'all go support. Um, girl, you can't talk about nobody with a goddamn forehead tattoo. You look goofy. Houston recently. Talk a little Houston. bit about the VP Kamala Harris's rally in Houston recently. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I didn't watch the full thing. I was only there I to see what Beyonce was going to do because they said Beyonce was showing up. And I said, oh my gosh, is she going to give us a free concert? We haven't seen her do a televised performance in a long time. So I was waiting for her to show up on the stage. And I'm sure a lot of people were as well. You know, they use Beyonce's name to really draw in viewers. And so I feel like a lot of people were excited about that. But I didn't know Kelly Rowland was going to be on the stage Just either dancing. because they didn't miss. What is she playing? <laughs> I'm sure this is fashion. I don't know what I'm talking about. Don't listen to me because I know nothing fashion-wise. Honestly, I don't even need to say that. That Oh, I don't know nothing about fashion because whatever you choose to wear is whatever you choose to wear and what you feel comfortable in. When people act like there's only certain things that look good for everybody i don't think that makes a lot of sense at all it's like as long as you like it and you're comfortable wearing it that's all that matters um so it's not about what everybody else agrees on is is fashionable you feel me so i'm, I'm gonna stop saying that <laughs> i think it's ugly i think this is hideous i think it looks a mess uh but you know maybe she's found some type of trend that's going on right now i don't know i don't know what's happening but I'm, I'm sure if this is something that is fashion forward somewhere <laughs> in the world. But again, I, I don't think people should go based on on that and what. Oh, I saw this in you know this magazine and oh such and such is wearing this. Kelly Rowland is wearing this, so that means it's acceptable and it, that means it's fashionable. I think that's very goofy how how we look at things, myself included, for me to even you know have to say like oh I don't know anything about fashion though. So therefore, my opinion is invalid on it. Yes, the fuck it is, and I think it's I think it's ugly. <laughs> my opinion, anyway. Um, yeah, but uh, if she chooses to wear it and she feels happy in it, it's all that matters. Cause I love Kelly. That she was showing up, but <laughs> Kelly and Beyonce's mother Tina Knowles showed up. They gave good speeches. I especially Girl. loved Kelly's speech. I mean, she <laughs> is really an orator. She was hyping the crowd up. So. I really liked her speech a lot. Now, I was a little confused with what she was wearing. Okay, you know, okay, thank you. Like thank you. It's not just me. <laughs> Cause I'm, but I'm like, I'm explaining myself, you know, over explaining myself as I was talking about that because I'm, I'm just thinking and assuming that people, you know, are going to have the sentiment that, oh, well, this is very fashion forward. This is in right now. So that's why I'm just like, all right. <laughs> but apparently not everybody fuck with it. She was wearing a Steve Harvey suit. Not Steve and what Harvey. she was wearing doesn't matter for the record. But I would have liked her to wear a suit that was a bit more tailored. But it didn't matter because her speech really was one of the yeah, highlights. I thought she did a great job. And I like Beyonce's speech as well. She was very composed and dignified. It almost looked like she was the one running. <laughs> but I will be honest. I was a little disappointed that she didn't perform. Not a little I was Why disappointed was she that she didn't give us at least one song and at least an eight count. But maybe I'm just being greedy and asking for too you much. Are. Because, listen, She's at the end confess. of the day, this rally wasn't about Beyonce, even though it kind of was. But it's more so about the election. Now, there were a few people who were salty about Beyonce being up there supporting Kamala. For Why? one, Donald Trump sounded a little salty about it because he threw some shade. Joe Biden is asleep, Kamala. Is it a dance party with Beyonce? <laughs> Beyonce. So Beyonce. Petty. Why do you say her name like that? <laughs> How is he 80 years old and still childish? Not a dance also, party. Also, Rose, who is a big supporter of Donald Trump, shaded Beyonce. And this is what she said in the Shade Room's comments. She said, she want to be me so bad, right, she literally took my whole speech. Now, Amber, nobody. 
And I mean nobody. And you think wants Beyonce to be, okay? wants to be you? Listen, I know she was you trolling. Tatted forehead alien. You can't be delusional. Just take your yeah, check that Trump it's is drugs. giving you. And Has mind your be. business, Amber. Mind your business. But I hope y'all are going out to vote if you haven't already. You know, it is Ooh. important. So please go out and vote. Now, I want to move on into a more serious topic. Solange Knowles opened up about a very serious health condition that she has been dealing with. She actually revealed that she is dealing with multiple autoimmune conditions, which is very serious. Now, she revealed this diagnosis after the model, Sean Ross, revealed he has POTS syndrome after suffering from COVID. She said this, sending you so much love and strength, Sean, and to all in the comments struggling with the debilitating, confusing, and lonely symptoms of POTS. I got diagnosed with POTS, Sjogren's, and MCAS in 2018 and really relate to not wanting your health to be your identity. The good folks at this autonomia, I don't know if I'm saying that right, were really an incredible resource for me and I feel really grateful for the spooning community for holding me down during my times of complete uncertainty, sending an abundance of love your way. Now, Solange reveals she has three autoimmune conditions. She says she has POTS, which is a condition where a person experiences fast heart rate, fatigue, and dizziness when they transition from lying down Girl, to standing show up. Stuff? She also says she has Sjogren's, which is another autoimmune condition that affects the glands that produce moisture in the body. Not only that, she has MCAS, which is a syndrome that causes an excessive allergic reaction that could be almost deadly if not immediately treated so mm. these are some very severe chronic illnesses that Solange has and this is not the it's first really time sad. she opened up about it in fact years ago she revealed that she was dealing with an autoimmune condition back in 2017 or 2018 I believe and also she revealed in another post that she was really fighting to stay alive she said, oh. when I first started creating when I get home, I was quite literally fighting for my life in and out of hospitals. Shout out to Park Plaza on Benz with depleting health and broken spirits, asking God to send me a sign. I would not only survive, but that if he let me make it out alive, I would step into the light, whatever that meant. He began speaking to me. Half of the time, I didn't know where it was coming from. I only knew I had to open the door and honor it. I didn't see Nan a thing, I imagine. I didn't know who I was speaking to on. I am a witness. When I listen back, I hear a woman who had only an inkling of what the journey entailed, but didn't have a clue of why or what the journey would look like. This project has shown me once you open that door, you can't go backwards. Mm. And she went on to talk about this spiritual journey and opening up and how she was able to get to a point where she created her project when I get home. Now, I want to say this. I know that Solange's conditions are physiological. I think what she's dealing with could be hereditary. It could be due to hormonal changes, due to her diet and other external factors such as changes in the environment or different allergens that she might have been exposed to. It could be due to a lot of different things. But I do want to have a real conversation and say that it could also be spiritual too. Now, I don't know exactly what Solange believes, but I feel like she is a spiritual person. She's into a lot of different spiritual things and practices, but I will say when a person plays around in the spiritual realm and opens themselves up to a lot of different deities and spirits, they make themselves spiritually vulnerable. And these spirits can come in and manifest themselves into physical ailments. And some people listening to this might think it's all kooky, but it's true. Like, this happens a lot. In fact, I remember the actress Erica Alexander did an interview on The Breakfast Club. I mean, her sister, Beyonce, also is spiritual in the same way. So, if that's your argument, why is that not happening to her or the millions of other people who, whatever... And she talked about how her grandmother died practicing witchcraft. My mother, That's my grandmother witchcraft. was a witch. How is that the same? Uh, she Ooh. died from witchcraft. Mm. She, she, said she down died from witchcraft? witchcraft? Well, she would go, listen, she had a restaurant. You know, black people, we do so many things, I catering and all that. So back in the day, you really didn't have a life job. You would do things. And she had a, um, a little cafe, you know, a hole in the wall. Mm -hmm. And she would put 
dust over the door. So when people came in, the bell would ring Oof. and dust would fall on it. Oh, no. <laughs> yes, yeah, so they called it goof with dust. Well, right across the street was her competitor, and they would have goof with dust too. So she would go back and forth to down deep south, south like, you know, South New Orleans, Carolina, like, yeah, Orleans, deep, yeah, where yeah. you're from, you know, and go get stronger and stronger um, for food. Dust. Mm -hmm. She came back and they said she was all twisted up with her head in between her legs, barking like a dog. Oh my God. Ooh, that voodoo, that roots, boy, that I'm that telling you, that's called the frogs. And they said that the women in the church went to go get my eventual godfather, which was William Griffith, and he came, saw it, he left three days, he went and uh, they, they, they uh, fast and they pray, and then they come back and then they laid hands on her, and they got her through it. And they, she, this is the story now. This, wow. I'm just telling you what they got her through it. And when he came, she came, he, she came out of it. He says, "Daughter, the Lord told me to tell you that if you go back, uh, you'll you, you'll come back, you'll come back in a box." No, no, Rev. I promise. I gave this up. I'm not gonna do it. He said, "I'm just telling you what the Lord told me, told me to tell you." And that my father's last memory of his mother is him, is her getting in a car, a red Cadillac, because her boyfriend's name was Red. He would just drive through, take her away. And I'm begging her, please, mom, don't go, don't go, don't worry about it, I'll be back. And two weeks later, they brought her home in a box. Now, this story was very fascinating to me, very fascinating. And it kind of shows you that when you play around in them dark spiritual arts. Her one story that we cannot confirm is true. I'm not saying she's lying, but we can't confirm anything. This, this confirms what you said. <laughs> this is proof, impressive. Now, this story was very fascinating to me, very fascinating. And it kind of shows you that when you play around in the dark. That shows us arts, what? <laughs> you are opening yourself up to a lot of chaos, a lot of spiritual chaos. And the only power that can really combat all of that is the power of <sighs> Jesus Christ. I slept very I little last night. My apologies. In Erica's story, they the had today. to pray away the ailment that her grandmother received from practicing witchcraft. Her grandmama was folded up like a pretzel after dabbling in that hoodoo, okay? So she needed Jesus. She really did. Mm. And all of us do. But, you know, I know everybody <laughs> doesn't believe. And I'm not forcing my beliefs on anybody. But yes, you are. Because <laughs> Team Jesus comes out every three, four videos, all right? It's just a, a very constant thing. And this is not me throwing shade to Christian Christianity, obviously. Um, but I roll my eyes and I laugh because she mentions this a lot. Like she just finds a way to sprinkle in and be like, yeah, I'm team Jesus. And it's just funny because it's ironic because she runs this, <laughs> this gossipy, you know, page that highlights the negativity like in the industry. So it's just so funny to me. I just think it's funny and I'm not throwing no shade at this woman. <laughs> I just see, you know, the irony in it all. So it just makes me laugh. I think it's humorous. Okay. But, um, yeah, she's team Jesus out here. All right. She letting y'all know. I do think the spiritual topic is interesting and I don't know. And trying to relate this to, to Solange. I also just think this is a huge reach. You don't know what this woman is practicing in her everyday life. Like, we can only go, you know, by bits and pieces that they've shared over the years. But Beyonce and Solange both are very private. So I'm very surprised that she even shared that she has, you know, these chronic illnesses. But, you know, we don't know the details about how they live their lives and, you know, their, their spiritual beliefs, you know, uh, specifically. They may have said things here and there, but we don't know. So I just think it's just a huge reach for her to be like, oh, she might have this illness because she dabbling in that witchcraft. Like, that's the implication and it's like girl i just think that's kind of odd to say and it's, it's kind of insensitive also but solange practices spiritually and i probably shouldn't assume that her spiritual practices caused her ailmently and i probably i listen look, now that we're on a fucking topic let's talk about it something is going on <laughs> why does this happen a lot with me i don't know the answers but, and I've never, I don't seek out these type of things. So when I'm making these comments, it's not because I'm like, oh, well, I practice this stuff too. I don't practice shit, okay, at all. I'm not a religious person whatsoever. The most I do is is meditate and, you know, some super Christians out there even think that's demonic, which I, I don't do anything. Anyway, um, I literally meditate in silence. I just focus on my breath. Breathe in, breathe out. That's literally it. Um, so I don't have a spiritual practice or I don't like believe i don't do any of that okay so there's that but something's up 
<laughs> because why do it? This happens a lot. I'll be thinking stuff or I'll say something and then it'll be said like right after in videos. And this happens in my everyday life too, you know? When, you know, I'll say something or think something and then it'll happen like immediately after or somebody will say something related to it immediately after. Um, and animals also, they gravitate towards me, so I don't know if it's related. <laughs> I talked about this in my um, Kyoto video. Follow me on my second channel, DeChanel TV. I put up a vlog when I went to Japan. And, you know, there's like a pig cafe that I went to. I showed all this, uh, watched the whole video for the details. But, um, you know, all of the pigs are like gravitating towards me, the little piglets. I had literally like five of them all over me. And the other people that were there, they did not like them. Like the the, the people who ran the, the pig cafe, they would try to manually like take them over to the other people and they would come running back to me. <laughs> and this happens all the time with animals, like cats, dogs, they just seem to, you know, flock to me. I even showed on my IG, so I'm going on this tangent. <laughs> I showed on my IG uh, a couple years ago, if y'all remember when I had this balcony at my last apartment, there was this bird that, uh, this big ass bird, what type of bird was that? I forgot. But it, it came on my balcony and it was like trapped. And it was like trying to fly away. I don't know if that was a good thing or bad thing. <laughs> but the fact that it came to my balcony and was just there. It was there for a while. And I had to actually call maintenance and be like, hey, come get this big ass bird off my balcony. Um, and it was other birds who came. They were like circulating my, you know, my my <laughs> my balcony. And I was just like, what? This, this happens a lot. So I wonder what this means. <laughs> I feel like there's something there because it's just. It's a common occurrence, so I don't think these things are, you know, coincidental. So I'm like, what does this mean? Yeah, I need to do some type of research or something anyway. Shouldn't assume <laughs> that her spiritual practice But yes, like I was saying, I, was, I got to that tangent because I was just telling her that she should not assume that about uh, Solange, and that's insensitive to say that. Practices spiritually, and I probably shouldn't assume that her spiritual practices caused her ailments, but... It Good. does make me wonder because aware. it seemed like it came out of nowhere. I mean, she seemed to be relatively healthy you don't know this until woman. maybe seven or six years ago since she revealed woman. her autoimmune struggles. Impressive. So I don't know. How I don't you know, know y'all. I, I know some people might say, how dare you blame spirituality on her ailment? How dare you? How dare you think this? But it, it does make me wonder. I can't help it, y'all. I can't help it. <laughs> But I'm glad that she's been able to no, I can't get the help it. that she needs. And I do wish her much happiness, healing, and also Same. a long life. Anyway, tell me what you all think about Same, I agree. Listen, impressive cracks me the fuck up, okay? This woman is hilarious. Uh, <laughs> but yes, I, I wish Solange well. I, I wish her peace, healing, happiness, all of that. I, I hope that, you know, it works out for her. Um, as far as Amber and Beyonce... Girl, I think she's just trolling for attention at this point. It's really sad because I, I didn't see her as such a clout chaser in the past, but that's clearly, you know, what she has become. So there's that. But whatever. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you want to watch, and I'll see y'all the next time. Bye.